Hello, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to build a family budget in Microsoft Excel. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going, we've opened up a, uh, a blank uh, workbook here. And uh, just to be uh, kind of to use best practices, uh, usually what I like to do when I start a project is I'm going to go ahead and hit the, go to the file menu and, and do save as. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, save this as a uh, spreadsheet, and we're going to call it uh, Family Budget. Okay. That way I have it saved uh, and I can go ahead and just hit the save button as I go along and, and save it so I don't lose it as I go. Alright, so to begin up in A1, I'm going to go ahead and also put family budget up there. Okay, and we'll, we'll go ahead and center and merge that when we get everything else built here. And so down in C3, I'm going to start the family budget uh, layout by adding the months. Okay, so I'm going to go January to begin. Okay, and so what, what I can do is I can actually use the autofill handle, the little uh, box, green box over here to the lower right corner of the cell. Go ahead and click that, and you see as I drag across, the months go ahead and auto populate there. Okay. All right. So, and if and if one of your months, say for example September, doesn't show up quite right, it's uh, it's maybe like looking like kind of like this or something scrunched up. Go ahead and and double click between the columns, and you can uh, make it larger there, so you can spread it out. Uh, and another good little trick is you can actually select all the columns here and uh, right click up at the top and you can do column width and you can actually set all your columns to the same width say for example I want to do uh, 12 column width 12 and it'll space them all out evenly okay so that's a little, a little trick there okay so down the side on our family budget on B in B5 I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, income so we're just gonna keep it simple here and then a couple cells below income, I'm going to start adding some expense categories. So I'm going to say uh, rent and uh, automobile. And we're going to say maybe gas and then food, uh, tuition, uh, books. Um, what else do we have? Internet, phone. I mean, there's many different categories. You can just kind of make up your categories as you go here. And uh, water, uh, sewer, say for example, you have to pay that. Okay, so, uh, and, then, and then we're going to go ahead and add numbers to this. So we, it can be any numbers. You don't have to use real numbers. We can just add anything. Uh, here just to get a feel for it um, and so you see that right there it automatically popped up as uh, a dollar sign so um, as I was fiddling around here before I started I actually formatted uh, this area to be uh, dollars and so I'll, I'll hit that um, uh, as we get, get going here and add some more numbers I'll show you how to format that rent uh, let's go ahead and put 650 automobile uh, is going to be 200 gas is 100 uh, food 150 tuition uh, 300 books internet 45 phone 50 water sewer another 50 okay okay down at the bottom of my expenses I'm gonna go ahead and add um, the total expenses all right 
just like that I have to space my column a little bit to get them all in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to do an auto sum. So we're going to take all these expenses here, um, all the way down to total expenses, and then we're going to hit the auto sum. And what that'll do is that'll put the sum at the end of the selection there. So there's our sum. Uh, and then we're going to a couple cells below total expenses. We're going to put savings. Okay. And our savings is going to be another formula. The formula is going to work. When Excel does a formula, it, uh, it realizes it's doing a formula if you start out with the equal sign. So we're going to put equal in here. And then what that does is that makes um, your cursor active. So it, it, uh, it's going to make it so whenever you click on a cell, like for example, I come up here and click on income, it's going to add that cell into your formula. So you can drag cells and different things into your formula by clicking on them when you have that equal sign. Uh, so we're going to do income minus, okay, hit the, hit the minus sign here, uh, total expenses, okay. And then go ahead and hit enter, and it will give, our, give us our savings. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use our autofill and drag these formulas and uh, figures across to December. And there we go. Okay. Uh, so so formatting real quick. We've got everything formatted right or uh, selected all of our numbers. Uh, so up here there's a dollar sign up in the ribbon and uh, in the number section of of uh, the ribbon. And so you can hit that dollar sign and it's going to give us that formatting. Okay, with everything we've selected. Okay, so we don't need pennies, we don't need the decimal points, uh, and so we can actually use these just to the right of the dollar sign here. We can get rid of the uh, decimal points, so the arrow that points to the right, we can hit that a couple times and it'll get rid of those that decimal point and just give us, uh, give us the whole dollars. Okay? And so, um, so that's a little bit of formatting there. You can also um, format the top. Maybe up at the top, you're just going to want um, some bo a border on the bottom. Okay, so I just added that border on the bottom. Uh, let's say all of these numbers here, we want to uh, put a border around everything there to make it easier to read. Uh, income, we're going to maybe over here on the side on our headings we're gonna make them uh, bold and we're gonna put in some, uh, a fill color say we're gonna put in like light gray there there we go okay income we also wanna maybe format income a little different and we're gonna give it a, a little darker gray there we go um, and then our totals here a lot of times on our totals, uh, you can put a double line underneath, uh, like you can format it kind of like like this, and that'll equal our totals. So it'll be double lined, kind of like that. Uh, savings, maybe we want to do something special for that as well, and we're gonna put um, a yellow line down at the bottom for savings. Okay, so that is how you kind of format and set things up. Um, you can even uh, with the, our family budget. Let's let's get that one in order here. So I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the family budget A and all the way over to December, and then we're going to hit center, merge and center. All right, and then I can expand that using the uh, using these arrow up buttons. We're going to make it family budget a little bigger there, and there's our formatting. Okay, I'm going to show you one more thing with formatting here that will help you out as you get going. Uh, and that is, say for example, in July, um, we uh, went on a trip and uh, we spent a lot of money on gas. And we also spent more money on food because we were eating out the whole time we went on a trip and had a grand old time so we're gonna we're gonna make the food a little more and so we see down here at the bottom in July uh, 
our savings is negative okay and so there's there's things that you can do to uh, change the formatting of your numbers uh, kind of to give it conditional formatting so one of the things you can do is I selected all the savings uh, the yellow line here and and what I can what you can do is you can go into the number okay so on the number uh, section uh, you can hit the little arrow over to the right side here to expand the options okay and so we're we're in currency okay so right right now that's our current formatting okay so for a negative number it's going to put those brackets on there to show negativity uh, we can make it so if it's negative it can put brackets on and also have it uh, be red so you select that and hit OK and then our, our 145 there will be uh, red uh, as the condition okay um, so and then there's also conditions uh, you can play with these a little bit here on under the styles uh, where you can actually give conditions to uh, the entire cell um, if it's you know if it's less than zero greater than zero you can change the actual colors of the cells uh, and and change the formatting of your sheet uh, as you go and so that this is just the, the little simple family budget that you can use um, or that you'll be doing and, and submitting and there's some more advanced stuff I'm gonna do uh, here on the extra credit I'm gonna show you some advanced stuff so go in and view that and you, if you really want to get good at Excel uh, view that and do the the extra credit exercise and it's really going to take you to the next level thanks bye